awesome God. We bless you tonight, Lord. He is an awesome God, amen. A great God. And we have the awesome privilege and opportunity to worship Him, to open our mouths, to lift up our hearts, and give the King of all the earth praise. We bless you tonight, Lord. I just wanted to share with you guys, over the past five years, my husband Marcus and I have really desired to have more children. A lot of you guys know Windsor. He's our six-year-old. And uh, Miss Dodie actually prayed him right out of the heavens one Sunday morning. I was standing on the platform, and she asked if anyone was in the church who wanted to have children. And out of all the people in the, in the building that day, nobody raised their hand but me. And I was standing behind her, and she turned around and saw me there, and she laid hands on me and, and uh, prayed over Marcus and I. And I don't know, about 10 months later, I had Windsor. But we've been wanting to have more children, and over the past five years, we've been to fertility specialists and gone through procedures and all of that. And in January of this year, we sat in front of our doctor, and he gave us the devastating news that we really couldn't have any more children. And of course, I was heartbroken over the fact, and I went home that day, and I was processing through it, and just weeping, sitting on the couch, and here comes little Windsor, he was five at the time. And he sat on the couch next to me and he put his arms around me and he said, Mama, don't worry about it. Jesus will bring us some more children. He'll bring us some babies. And this is the little boy who for three years has been praying for a brother and a sister. And so, I, you know, I was disappointed for him, you know, because of the news of the doctor. But let me just tell you, when, when things look a certain way in the natural, God is always working something out in the supernatural. And... Um, in May, one day, we were on a flight with Pastor going to Fort Lauderdale, and Lisa was sitting across from me, and she said, um, she said, I got a call from Nancy Alcorn at Mercy Ministries in Nashville, and she said, there's a young woman who's about 20 years old, and she's pregnant with twins. Would you be interested? And, uh, of course, just in my spirit, something just leapt, and, and in my mind, I said, those are our babies. And what they didn't know was since I was a young girl, I've always wanted twins. And uh, so in, Je in July, July 19th, in fact, the little young woman gave birth to twins, and Marcus and I were there in the hospital with her. And uh, we were right there in the nursery. We got to feed them and change them and burp them and the whole bit. And uh, three days later, we took them home from the hospital. And uh, that's, that's where we've been all summer. And the beautiful thing was it, was, it was a boy and a girl. So Windsor got his brother and his sister. So I know you guys hear this all the time from this platform, from Pastor Joel and Victoria and Lisa and Dodie, how they tell you about the faithfulness of God and what he is doing. Pastor always says, you know, when you see it the least out here, God is working the most where you can't see it. And I just want you to know that we are a testament of God's faithfulness. You know, you may be believing for children. You may be believing for your marriage. You may be believing for your grown children. But I want you to know God is faithful. He is a great God. He is a great God. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh 